hi welcome to the dotnet video tutorials this is abhi and you're watching part 4 of wpf tutorials video series in this tutorial you will learn how to use the talk panel layout in wpf the talk panel layout is used to arrange the controls inside it to the left right top bottom or center we can use the talk panel dot talk property of controls to align them as per our need in some situations like when we are going to divide the screen in different sections we can use the talk panel there by default the value of talk panel last child field property is always set to true i will explain about this just in a bit so let's flip to visual studio i'm going to create a talk panel this is talk panel now in here by default the last child field is true property is true now let's make some buttons here and the content is submit now as you can see there is only one button so if i will say the last child field property is true then this means that this button is going to take all the remaining height and width of dog panel if you have not specified the height and width of the button control if you will specify the height maybe 100 then this is going to happen now let's put some more buttons another thing is that if you have not specified the talk panel dot talk property in the controls then that is going to be by default that is going to be always left so you can see the button is here if i will put another button then that is going to you can see the first button is here and the second is here so the left by default the left property is working here so now you can dock the elements according to your need let's delete the height let's make it dock panel dot dock property set to bottom then the first button is going to set at the bottom now if i want to set the second button to the left that is by default left now i will set another button to the right and i will set another button to the top right now you are you have four buttons inside the dock panel now let's see if i will set the last child field to false then what's gonna happen you can see the button is taking only the height of its text so what do i mean by the last child field if it is set to true if the last child field property is set to true then the last child that is it this is going to take the full width and height that is remaining in the top panel so if i will remove this then this is automatically going to set to true and you can see the last button is going to take the remaining height and width of the dock panel if you have not provide any height and width of the controls so this is the dock panel so that's it from the today's video tutorial 
hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe comment and let me know your views if you have any questions please ask me i will try to answer that question thanks for watching have a great day bye